Hello guys, my name is Isa Rodriguez, Kiss Player and Music Director at Luther at Church of Hope. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you three gospel riffs. I'm gonna teach my first riff in the key of C because it's one of the easiest keys to learn. I'm gonna pick a song, there's nothing that I can do. If you play in the verses, it goes in the key of C. Just one word. I don't know the lyrics. To the F. And, and there he comes, and I usually do... So I usually do that to go back to the verse. So why did I do that? In the key of C, or any key that you play, some keys are very complicated to play this kind of riff, so that's kind of understanding where to use them. But what I did, it was like, if I'm playing the key of C, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go back. Three, one, two, three, and I go... So I land in my one. What I do to do that riff, if we in the four, I grab, this is my movement. So if I'm in the key of C, G, A, C. So I do, and then I go back to C, and I do D, E, G, and I do the same movement. And then the same thing repeats going back to F. So I go G, A, C, and same with C. So I will go D, E, G, and same thing will repeat. So if you're playing just one word, then I do read three, and then you do. Let in the one. So again, just one word. They're gonna do it three. And says, so I'm in the chord F, which is my four, I go. Now I'm gonna do it in the real spit. So you can hear that kind of like that's that gospel reef when it bites. It bites a lot, um, really jazzy, but really gospely. So I go, just one word. Here we go. Boom. So now let's move to another key. So we gotta go to the key of G. So, just one word, and I got to read three. Here we are in C, and so because we are in C in our fourth chord, we do D, E, G. So we do, then we go to G, and then we go A, B, D. Same thing, then we go back to C, D, E, G. And it's an easy movement. Then we go to G, A, B, and D. And then we repeat. So we go, just one word, and then it lies around me. Two, three, three, and then we go starting in C. Boom. That kind of riff, I utilize it usually in fast songs. And again, I usually try to find my space where to do it. But let's do this one in the key of G in the real time. Kind of like at the same tempo that the song would be. So... So that's one of the reefs. Take your time, learn it, 
always understand when to utilize this. I mean, I don't use this in every fast song, but when you play it, our nothing our guy can do is that little space after the verses to go from verse to verse. It's just an empty space. And that's when the first time I did it, I was like, wow, this sounds really good here. It feels really good. Um, also, it doesn't feel like I'm doing too much. I only do it once and maybe twice in the song without being say, let's move to the second gospel riff. So we go to the key of C. It's super simple. We all know the key of C. But usually, as we know, it's different ways to play the key of C. So this is a way. I'm gonna play it with my right hand. But then it's also this way, which is another inverted. And then this is also this way. So now me, I usually choose to play all my chords in this inverted position. Why, you would ask? Well, when I started learning all these riffs many years ago, I understood that, wow, in this inverted chord of C or any chord, and I'm gonna do different chords, is easy for me to do things with my right hand. And my left hand, I usually open the chords in my left hand. So instead of doing this on my left, I usually invert it and do this. So for me, it sounded more full. So if I move here, and then I move this inverted chord, I usually movement or a riff that I do is that I utilize my picky finger. I put it on the key of G and then this finger C and then so and then I utilize these two fingers to be the ones that are gonna move the most all well, these three I would say so every time I play I usually do and I use that pinky and also in added to that you can do But I usually do this movement, which is super simple. So if you're playing in this inverted chord, if you literally press that D and E right into it, these movements between these two fingers, or these three fingers, and that pinky, that bite, it's all about that biting. So if I'm playing the key of C, I usually bite that E, that D and E, I bite them together. So, and then I usually bite mostly of the things I usually do. So if I go to F, that bite, and usually when I land, I usually land with But that bite, if you do C and then you do that, that half step to land, that bite, just getting very comfortable, utilizing that bite, that's a very gospel common, you will hear it in mostly of all the gospel kids players, they bite a lot of notes, so they, Just, just enough that it's just... So if I go to the key of, of G, for example, this is G, but then if I take my right hand only, this is another way to play G, and there's another way to play G. But I usually use the third. So when I do, I add my pinky to my D chord, then this finger to G, and then this one to D, and then, I bite and add my pinky. Just that bite. So usually I do this thing uh, with my left. That is a great movement to add the foolish that I wouldn't call this a riff, it's like a muscle memory. So if I'm playing anything in my right hand, any chord, what I usually do in my left hand is that I usually, like I explained earlier, I usually do this on my bass, but I usually walk. So when I do my bass, I do 
anywhere I go. If I go to C, if I go to E, and what happens with that is that it adds a lot of movement. And that's what you're looking for in gospel, that's, it's just movement. So if I do G, it add that extra movement that if I just doing this, and if I do the same thing with my left hand, to E, it's just learning how to move with your left. Then at one moment, you learn how to translate from your left, from my left to my right hand. And then I usually, my pinky and I bite. So again, those little things, movement in your left, biting in your right, adding that pinky. So for example, let's do Reckless Love. And I'm gonna do it in the key of C to keep it very simple. If I'm playing the, the intro or the instrumental. My right hand. That bite. You can see my right hand, the bite, bite. Then when you get comfortable, you can So everything is just like practicing, but those little extra things that I do, a lot of people ask me how I do them. Oh, what do you do here? What do you do the where I usually walk with my with my left? You can hear with a six eight. So it adds a lot of movement. Now let's go to the third gospel rift. And this one is kind of like the same way, but it's more of movement on your right hand. So you hear a lot when the gospel gets really, really fast, you hear. But that movement, that What did I do there? So let's go back to C. If I'm in the key of C, what I do with my right hand is that I usually in that half step, which in, in here will be my E flat. So I, if I'm playing the key of C, what I usually do with my right hand is that instead of playing the regular chord, I move this finger, move it to D. And then this one goes automatically here. And then this one is in G. So instead of doing this, I'm doing this. But I'm not pressing this until I do, and then I let go. So I'm, so, so if I'm playing the key of C, and then I usually move to my fourth chord, which is F, so I do, let me go here. And you can see it. F, A. So I go. And this one is the only one who moves. This finger is the only one who. Back to C. The more you learn it, and this is more for faster songs. Super jazzy. Gospel is all about the jazz. So if you, but then you go to F, you do the same thing, and then you go to your G chord. And then back to C. So 
as you're playing. I mean, if you're playing in the key, let's go to the key of D, for example. It's the same thing. So in your mind, you need to transpose of like, if I'm playing in the key of D, so I'm doing. To my G chord, which is my four. So. You can see. And then if I go to G, which is my four, you are really. To C, back to G. And this is the movement again. This finger goes here, this one goes, and this one stays here in D. And this is the other one who moves. And again, these movements is all again about practicing. You need to get very comfortable in what you do in order to go and play at church, play anywhere you play. So practice them a lot. But because you practice them a lot, doesn't mean that you need to play it a lot. So I would recommend every time you practice, find a space to do them. My biggest advice with any gospel riffs that you learn or you watch, practice, practice, practice. Don't expect that this kind of stuff is gonna happen where you are at the rehearsal. This kind of riffs, I don't do them all the time, but every time I find a space that I can do it, I just put it into it. Makes it sound fun, makes it uh, like a fresh look. If you guys wanna look for more content like this uh, from Sunday Sounds, there's gonna be a playlist linked to this video about me talking about uh, gospel chord progressions, uh, impressions. So go and check it out uh, and stay tuned for more content. I will see you soon. Practice. Practice, practice.